Welcome to Good Morning Suffolk, coming to you live from the Airman campus. I'm Jason Giometta, and on today's show, we have some exciting news and information to share with you about the college's many campuses and Suffolk County as a whole. Make sure to stay tuned till the end to see this week's student poll results. To start the show today, we have some news on local events taking place this weekend, so you could start off the fall season right. The Glen Cove Street Fair is happening, and with its free admission, it's a perfect excuse to get out of the house with the family. But if you're looking for something more kid-friendly, why not check out the Pat's Farm Garden Center? It'll have arts and crafts for the kids, and it's bound to make them smile. But what if you want to smile as well? Well, there's always the Comedy Night fundraiser happening in Smithtown. They'll be collecting donations to support the restoration of the theater itself. Hopefully you check out some of those and have some fun. After a short break, we'll be back to moving on to the Grant Campus News. Just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. If you could see you through my eyes instead of your ego. I believe you'd be surprised to see that you've been blind. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes, yeah, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Walk, Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk, Walk a mile in my, in my shoes. shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Walk a mile in my shoes. Born This Way, God Guy and Bad Bunny Tribute Concert will be happening in the Van Nostrand Theater from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. All Suffolk students are welcome to come and enjoy this fun and summer activity with their family and friends. General admission is $15, and of course, Suffolk students get two free tickets when using their school ID. You can also look forward to Superheroes and Villains, a theater performance happening this October in the very same theater. For more information about those two events, you can look for the events tab on our website at sunysuffolk.edu. Next up, after the break, we're going to take it over to Brandon Miller as we learn more about what's happening over at the Eastern Campus. like I was meant to help people. So I enrolled at Suffolk as an adult learner where they made me feel like I belong. I've even been offered a job before graduation. It's never too late to become the person that you're meant to be. SUNY Suffolk offers countless opportunities to find your passion and improve your tomorrow. I'm Megan Ramirez and I'm an addiction and recovery counselor and I got my start at Suffolk. You belong here. Register for classes today. Welcome back to Good Morning Suffolk. I'm Brandon Miller and I'm going to take you through what's going on at the Eastern Campus. Firstly, on September 17th, John Rush will perform in the Peconic Building Cafe from 11.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. You'll get to enjoy his singing along with him playing the guitar, bass, harmonica, saxophone, and many more. Next, why not check out the Blood Drive over in room 100 of the Peconic Building on September 18th. It's being held from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m and only about an hour of giving blood can save up to three lives. Keep in mind, they do prefer appointments, but walk-ins are welcomed. So please, get your blood in the game this semester. That's been all from me regarding the Eastern Campus. Stay tuned after the break for the Amarillo Campus News. I don't know why 
you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. Bro, you gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's a white people thing. Escúchame, en esta casa los hombres no lloran. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you want to talk about it? Thanks for hearing me out, bro. Appreciate it. You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, OK? Welcome back to the Ammerman campus. I'm Delaney Lassen, here with your campus news. This Saturday, Suffolk's very own women's soccer team will be going up against Monroe College's Monroe Mustangs from 12 to 2 p.m. The next Saturday, watch as the men's team challenges Orange County Community College. Show your support for your local college players on the Ammerman fields. For more information, head over to SUNYSuffolk.edu. In other news, this Sunday, September 15th, a motorcycle safety course will be held in parking lot 7 here at the Emmerman campus. It will be happening all day from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., but you'll need to make an appointment ahead of time. For more information, head over to their Instagram at OTRA Motorcycle School. Next up after the break, Ryan Fitzpatrick is out in the field conducting our weekly poll. For decades, I've taught you everything I know. How to safely build a fire. How to control the flames. <laughs> what to do with hot coals. How to secure your chains. But I can only teach wildfire prevention. Only you can prevent wildfires. Good morning, Suffolk. I'm Ryan Fitzpatrick, and today we're at the club fair on the Amherst campus, and we'll be asking students what clubs they'll be joining for the fall 2024 semester. All right, so we're here with Blake. Now, Blake, we're at the club fair today. Are you interested in joining any clubs? Yeah, I'm thinking about joining the uh, Astronomy Club. Astronomy Club, okay. They have a telescope over there. You can look at, the, look at the sun. Yeah, we saw that before. It actually looked pretty cool. Can you just tell us a little bit about like what clubs you'll be joining for this semester? I think I, I'm thinking about joining a uh, Japanese club and physics club, and what on top of that, one other club. For okay. All right, what club are you most interested in joining in so far? Physics, because I have a genuine interest in physics. Uh, Eva, what clubs are you interested in joining for this semester? Um, I'm thinking of joining the American Sign Language Club, and I'm not sure if it's here, but I was told about an anime club. Uh, Those are the two clubs that I really want to join this week. So that's been all at the club fair today. We definitely got a lot of variety of answers, and I'll see you back in the studio in one second. Now that we are back in the studio, let's go over the data of this week's poll. It looks like there was a total of 38 voters. 58% of the voters said yes, they are joining the club, but 26% of the voters said they aren't joining the club. We also have a maybe category with 16% of the votes. Lo looks like some students are on the fence. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at SCCCRTV and try to take part in next week's poll. I've been Ryan. This has been your student survey, and let's take it back to Brandon in the studio. That's been this episode of Good Morning Suffolk, and we hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next time for some more exciting news about what's going on here in Suffolk.